Okay, now we're gonna jump in and jump out of the cabin. So which you can see is pretty much easy because we don't have steps, we don't have to go over the wing. So, and it's uh, really nice and comfortable to get in. Uh, the chairs are really nice and you can comfortably sit. Can the chairs be retractable? Can the, the yes. chairs be moved? Yes, yes, of course. It could be adjusted to, adjusted. to, the, hot, uh, to the high person. And, uh, also, going out of the plane, so very easily, very easy. You just go rotate on the chair and you are already out. Super. Here I am on the back seat. Okay, as you can see, also a lot of space, at least for two people. So even for the family with children, so if you need to have a child in the middle, so that's gonna be feasible. The, the aircraft will be fully certified to have five persons on board. On the top of the cabin, you can see the liver. And uh, that is designed uh, to operate the parachute. That's the reason uh, why it is guarded right now. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you need to use the parachute, you grab it, pull it uh, forward and rotate. First pulling, release uh, the cover and the second, release uh, the parachute button. In terms of doors, you can see that you can easily be closed, but hinges are only there to place bolts, several bolts, which are aligned along uh, the door edges. All those bolts are to secure the doors in a closed position, as the cabin is also prepared to be pressurized, and uh, these doors by the pressure of the air which is inside the aircraft will be pressed outside uh, with a huge force so that's the reason why we need so many balls aligned on the edges okay. in terms of avionics uh, that's what you can see it from the past that's the Garmin 600 TXI mm -hmm. uh, with touchpad screens and uh, Full what is needed, full avionic, full equipment which is needed for IFR flights, including uh, ILS approaches, BBN approaches, and all what's uh, actually need right now to operate it safely uh, in IFR conditions. You can see we have a control stick in the middle and the throttles on the left and right hand side. So, but uh, we are considering option with a uh, classic yoke as well and uh, then we can also think about the positioning throttle in the other places okay that's it's still still uh, optionally designed the central stick which you can see right now it's uh, for the time being taken due to its simplicity mm -hmm. and uh, easy way to operate to control it uh, uh, for uh, first flight if you are considering the engine uh, we are really happy and proud to have Williams engine on board of this aircraft as the FJ33 the newest version of Williams for this category which can provide uh, to 8.5 kN of thrust so which is a huge power for this aircraft so it means also that we have extra power of this aircraft which you can convert to the long life of this engine or extra performance I mean for example extremely climb if we need it so we are still to consider uh, for this aircraft uh, the top altitude could be flying later on as I mentioned already, for the time being it is at 25,000 feet only. But uh, in terms of performance with this engine, we are able to fly uh, up to flight level 450. Uh, for this aircraft, we use uh, standard uh, jet uh, engine fuel lab, jet uh, one, uh, 1A. So that's exactly the same fuel which is used 
for uh, Airbus, Boeing, big airplanes, but also for any other tur small turbine power aircraft. Here you can see uh, the cover below which you can find the parachute, emergency parachute installation. So the idea is to open the cover, block the inlet of the engine, fire the rocket, which pulls out uh, uh, the parachute out of the container, mm -hmm. and that's the way uh, Flaris can land safely. If you want to access it, the access is pretty much simple. You press it. And we have it. Now, right now, we are using it for the stuff uh, related to this exhibition. So it gives us a good idea of what it can contain. It's quite spacious, actually. Super. Regarding the wings, uh, we can say that they were designed to be uh, fully detachable. So it means also that the fuel is not uh, contained within the wings. They are, that fuel is in fuselage, and that makes the wing uh, easily to detach because all we need to have is just to uh, unplug the ailerons and flaps, and we can take the wing. Okay, here we go down again, so uh, floor level, okay. That's the panel, so which gives you the access to the wing uh, and uh, make the... Within two, three people we can uh, dismantle this aircraft as well. Uh, at the level of uh, flaps so this time. Uh, flaps uh, for Flaris are electrically powered and uh, they should to give us the stalling speed below uh, 50 knots. Getting down to landing gear, uh, it's specially designed to operate from unpaved runway and the grass runways. The landing gear you can see here is fully made uh, of uh, aluminium alloy and uh, that's designed specially prepared by Metal Master. The idea behind this airplane was to operate from small and unprepared uh, runways, suppressed runways as well. So the takeoff run is calculated to as long as uh, 250 meters. So in terms of uh, runway length requi required for short landing, short takeoff, full length, we are talking about the level of 400, 600 meters. So short grass runway. So how about um, the availability um, to purchase this plane as an experimental aircraft? Yes, uh, first of all, we want to do it uh, with the Polish uh, certification for such an aircraft process under Polish uh, supervision. And uh, they should be available in the market uh, let's say two years onwards uh, that should be already after the first part of flight test flight so which is approximately uh, which covers approximately 150 flight hours for the for the aircraft and in terms of price what will be the range of price and will are you thinking to uh, upgrade uh, some of your avionics or is it is going to be the same avionics that you have now well, definitely we can say that uh, anything is for sure and won't be changed because we are on the, uh, we are on the level of prototype. price of uh, Laris starts from 1.8 million dollars. Then the rest is uh, going to depend on the optional equipment which is still to be uh, announced. And uh, in, in terms of avionics, you can uh, definitely get a new and several options like we go for example for this one that's already Garmin 600 upgraded to the uh, touchscreen version we're gonna go forward together with that what's on the market super